So let's start this lecture off by adding color equals to primary inside of the ionic navbar. We'll be changing the title to add item. And inside of the ion contents, this is the content of our page. I'll be creating an ion item. And that ion item will have an ion label inside. The label will simply say name. And we'll also have an ion input. This will allow us to capture text input when using ng model. At this moment in time, I'll be removing ng model because we will be coming back to that very soon. But for now, I just want to add placeholders to each one of our inputs. This placeholder could say something like iPad Pro. And we could create a few other inputs. So let's create an input for quantity. We could say potentially one. And finally, price. And we can maybe say something like 700. When we save our file, notice that we now have three different form elements, all of which we can type inside of. But I want to change the keyboard on the device for quantity and price. Both of these things, I want to be a number keyboard. So let's add type equal to number on both of these inputs. Finally, I want to add a button underneath these items. So let's add a button with the ion button attributes and the text of add. And to make this button look a little better, we're going to add the block and clear attributes. Awesome. So that's the view for our add item page complete. Now I want to create a model for our item. And I also want to hook up some functionality to this add button.